So do Amish use guns? Now, the answer to that is yes. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples in this video of why and how they use guns, why they have them and how they use them. The Amish are known as non-resistant, so they don't serve in the military. They don't serve on like police forces. They believe in not using violence and force against their fellow man. But that doesn't mean that they don't use firearms as a tool. They do use guns for a couple of purposes. First of all, it's very common that Amish farmers will have a shotgun. And what's a shotgun for? For, for a farmer, it's something for pest control, to get rid of pests. So for example, Amish farmer friend of mine, he has a shotgun. He uses it to shoot groundhogs, which are not good for his crops. That's just the reality of life on a farm. And so Amish will have a will have shotguns. It's not it's not uncommon. I mean, you may also need to use a gun to put down a wounded animal. You know, it's not something people like to think about, but it's a reality of, of farming, of rural life. It was a reality of how people lived for a long time before we became more urbanized. And it's something that the Amish continue to do. They continue to use firearms for those purposes. A second example of why Amish own guns is for hunting purposes. And the Amish are, many of them are avid hunters. Hunting is very popular among some Amish. Uh, I know some Amish that don't like hunting at all, but many Amish do love hunting. They hunt deer. This is a big, big thing. They hunt other animals. Some Amish even go on hunting trips to Western states for big game. That's a practice that's not necessarily condoned by all Amish. Some Amish criticize that as a wasteful or excessive, but Amish deer hunting is, is very common. And, uh, you know, you hunt a deer, you, you kill a deer. Now there's a, there's a trophy there and some Amish will, you know, mount the, the head and have a taxidermist, uh, do that. And they'll have, you know, they'll have the antlers or the, the full, you know, the deer mouth and, and they'll display that in part of their home. Uh, but they'll also, you know, they'll also eat the animal. They'll also eat the meat. So you, you hunt the deer, you kill a deer, and it's not just for the trophy or the sport of it. There's a practical reason to that too. Then you have meat and you feed your family for the whole winter. Hunting is not popular in some circles, but Amish don't see a lot of harm in that. They see there's a practical purpose to that. They enjoy it. There's a, it's an outdoor sport. They enjoy nature when they're hunting. Some Amish do object to the practice of purchasing expensive hunting equipment, like expensive bows and, and weapons and other things that are maybe not... Uh, a little maybe seen as a little extravagant. So some Amish do criticize some of the some of the materialistic practices that maybe go with the hobby. Who's hunting? It's mostly Amish men, but there are some Amish uh, young women uh, that do enjoy hunting as well. Uh, one of my Amish friends in Ohio, I, in their family, uh, I know one of the I think it's like eight brothers in there, and there, but there's some sisters too. One of the sisters I know enjoys hunting with her brothers. So you'll see some cases of Amish girls hunting. I believe Levina Eicher in her column, uh, the, uh, in the Amish kitchen column, mentioned at least one of her daughters uh, was hunting as well. And, uh, and that was something that she did. Amish are non-resistant. This is something like pacifism, uh, not exactly the same thing, but something in that uh, family of beliefs. Uh, so they're not gonna be joining the military or the police force. Do Amish use weapons in self-defense? That's a really good question. To be honest, I haven't heard of a lot of cases of Amish ever using guns in self-defense. So there's a famous story of Jacob Hostetler, who was an Amishman in the 1700s in Pennsylvania, and his family, they were kind of living in like a frontier area, and there was uh, an ongoing war at the time, and they came under attack by a Native American tribe, and Rather than shoot at the attackers, Jacob Hosteller, in this, according to the story, told his sons not to not to fire back at them. So what ended up happening there was Jacob's wife and two children were killed. He and two sons were captured and held prisoner. But the Amish today cite that story as an important example of non-resistance, of not using weaponry and force against other humans. Jacob and his family paid a big price for that belief, but it's a very strong and important belief among the Amish continuing today. So you don't see a lot of examples or hear about Amish using weaponry in self-defense. I'm not going to say it never happened or, or, or wouldn't happen because, you know, anything can happen, but not something that aligns with the beliefs of non-resistance.